First on Fox tonight, police trying to piece together a deadly shooting in Hillsboro. Yeah, they say that a man was shot and killed around two this afternoon. Right now, police are still on the scene. And Fox 12's Kendra Kent joins us live near Northeast Cornell Road and Grand Street right now. I know you've been there quite some time today, Kendra, and what can you tell us about what you know? Well, Liz, unfortunately, at this time, there are still few details about this case. This investigation is in its eighth hour now. And what we do know is that when officers responded here uh, to Grant, they did find that young man dead inside the home with at least one gunshot wound. It is the house behind me here with the picket fence. And I can tell you that now within just the last hour, the medical examiner has shown up. And it appears that there is more activity again, more officers showing back up to the scene here. Now, they first arrived at the home off of Grant Street after several 911 callers reported hearing gunfire just before 2 this afternoon. Police say several other people were inside the home at the time of the shooting. They are still interviewing those witnesses, and they tell us they are cooperating with investigators. At this time, no arrests have been made, and police have not said anything about a suspect they also haven't said how many shots were fired. We don't know much about the victim. We don't know if he lives at this home or what his relationship is to those others at the house. We did, however, speak to a next door neighbor. Diane Pastor says she wasn't home at the time of the shooting, but she's always been concerned about her neighbors and the activity there. She says it appears six or seven teens live at the home. Constantly, we see a lot of traffic, a lot of younger kids in and out. And, um, you know, I never really seen the parents. A lot of fighting and it just seemed like really dysfunctional. A couple of neighbors told us they had roommates or other neighbors who were home at the time of the shooting. They each said a young man came out of the house covered in blood and yelling. Now, again, police were waiting for hours to get a warrant. We don't know exactly about that warrant, but we do know that the medical examiner, again, is here at this time. Um, we can also tell you that there's no word when exactly this section of Grant Street will be reopened, and we do not know the identity of the victim. We'll keep you posted. For now, reporting live, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 Oregon.